Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video is a bit different as I'm going to take you on a unique journey walking and talking about Murphy and Paddington. It's going to be a bit longer in narration so if you prefer a shorter content now's the perfect time to explore some of my other videos. For those of you who stick around I'm excited to share some of these tales with you. Come on boys let's go. Yeah I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Yes, yeah, so I, um, I started off, I found a, uh, a breeder. And uh, that was through a friend, um, a friend at work. Um, her daughter got a little black pug and um, I just simply inquired, you know, where'd you get that lovely little puggy from? Uh, she gave me the details of the uh, of the breeder um, so I contacted the breeder and uh, said I would um, like to have a pug um, so she said yeah no that's cool and uh, obviously uh, she didn't have any dogs that were pregnant at that stage so we just waited um, then she gave us a call when um, when Mama Pug was pregnant, just to let us know, hey, she's pregnant, she's, uh, she's had a litter of five, and um, yeah, all's going well. And then um, a month or so later, I think it was, we, um, we got another call to say, yes, they've been born, um, which is fantastic. And uh, so then we got to, um, to pick because she knew what was in the litter as far as boys and girls and colours go. So um, I got the two boys out of the litter of five. Um, all the boys were fawn in colour and the, the two girls were black. Um, Paddington here, there he goes. He was the firstborn. Little Murph here, he was the, uh, he was the last born. So um, anyway, when eight weeks came, um, we went and picked them up because we got a phone call. So we went and picked them up at eight weeks old. <laughs> Little adorable things they were. Picked them up. Uh, the breeder was really nice. Um, she gave them a, uh, a blanket with uh, mama's scent all over it, just to make their transition a, uh, a little bit easier. But anyway, when we got them back home, obviously <laughs> toilet training was the start. So I kept them in the, uh, in the laundry to start with until they were toilet trained. Uh, they slept in there together. It was easier to clean up their mess in the morning, um, of which there was a lot, <laughs> being two of them. Um, so that was about six months took me to get these guys toilet trained. Um, now they're all done, they're perfect as. And then, uh, where is he? There he is. And little Murph there, he, um, being last born, I'm assuming um, just being last born, um, he has a few um, uh, minor health issues. He's a uh, He's a, I call him my little yeasty boy. Um, he's very yeasty, he gets his skin allergies. And he's, yeah, oh, the yeast in there he is, yeasty boy. G gets the yeast in his paws, under his face folds. Um, so I've got to clean him, this one here, at least twice a day, under his face folds. Yes, I'm talking to you, because he's, He's just grubby, he's just yeasty. So he has a special diet, um, hypoallergenic food. He has special medication that I wash his paws with. And like I said, I clean his, clean his face twice a day. Um, Paddington, his big brother there. Um, <laughs> perfection he is, um, no allergies. <laughs> he just eats, his, eats normal food. Um, 
no special shampoos for him, but he was first born, so I'm assuming he got all the nourishment. <laughs> Big ears. And left this little fella nothing. Uh, they get along really, really well. Um, the breeder actually, once I said what two that I would like, um, the breeder actually paired them up. Um, <laughs> almost straight from birth, almost. So they've been paired up oh, from the word go with each other. So um, <laughs> there they go. So no, um, there's no arguments or anything between them. I treat them exactly the same, so that probably helps. Um, there's no arguments or anything. Um, they both wait their turns with stuff. Yeah, so that's really, really good. I think just because, yeah, they've always been brought up together. Um, they've never been separated. Um, even when I took them to the vet, um, once they were of the right age, to get them desexed, um, took them to the vet to um, get them desexed. I mentioned to the vet that, you know, hey, they've never been separated. You know, they might get a little angsty <laughs> if they're separated. Uh, the vet just said, oh, we'll see how we go. Um, you know, if they won't go in separate cages, we will put them in the cage together. Um, they ended up being in the cage together. She said they didn't even attempt to put them in separate cages. They were perfectly fine uh, together with each other. So yes, yeah, so <laughs> they, they just do everything together. Um, they come with me everywhere. Everywhere I can legally take them, <laughs> they come. Um, if I'm taking mum anywhere, uh, we'll all go in the car and uh, us guys will just wait in the car. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're everywhere. Um, they're now three and a half years old. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, they're now three and a half. Um, <laughs> just total joy. <laughs> Yeah, they're three and a half. This is their favourite park that they're at. It's close, close to home. <laughs> As you can see, he just loves it. He loves getting out and having a run. Well, both of them do. They love the water, um, <laughs> sand, <laughs> dirt. <laughs> they get on well with um, my sister's dogs and my niece's dogs. They all get along really well. Oh, and they play well together and have a blast. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. It's, I probably haven't answered oh, everything. Um, I think that's everything that I really know about the boys. I've just been enjoying their beautiful company. Um, they give me so much happiness. Well, anyway, um, anyone who is watching the video, if you got through to this far, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Uh, this is something very different for me. So I'll just see how this goes. Um, so if you like this, just leave us a comment if you want to see more of this type of thing, me narrating, or if you want to see me, uh, just drop us a comment and let us know. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So that's a big bye-bye for now. <laughs> From me, little Murphy, the yeasty boy, yeah, yeasty boy, and the big brute, Paddington. There you go, boys. Very.